Hey y'all, this is Bless's six month update. Yeah! <laughs> Firstly, um, he's spoiled, like super spoiled, like super attached, like he wants what he wants. This is this is becoming an issue at the fact that every time I'm eating or says eating, he feels like he has to eat what we're eating. Like he doesn't want a bottle, he doesn't want baby snacks, he doesn't want he wants to eat what we're eating. So I could be eating a slice of pizza, I don't know, and he will scream and holler and spaz at me and try to get my attention until I give him what I have. You hear me talking about you? Huh? <laughs> so that's what he does. So I have to give him all of my food. I can't eat it alone anymore. What's mine is his. Right? You like to take all my food. Don't you? Don't you? <laughs> yeah, he's trying a lot of different stuff now anyway. So most of the time we just let him try what we have because we're trying to, you know, let him taste different foods and textures, see what he likes, see if he's allergic to anything. This is that stage. Um, what else are you doing? What else should I tell the people? <laughs> yes, what else? You still doing the pop-up mouth? Dang. Right now he's moving really, really fast. He's crawling, so he's moving. You can't, oh my God, we can't leave him on our bed anymore. Like sometimes like when it's nap time, We'll let him sleep on our bed, like fall asleep, take a nap on our bed. Can't do that anymore. This man is dodging off the bed. He doesn't want to be in the room alone. He doesn't want to be left on the bed. We can't leave him on the bed or he'll end up on the floor. Yeah, that's an issue. Um, and also, he can't even sleep in his bassinet anymore because just the other night, luckily, I woke up because I still... Uh, what? You don't want me to tell him that? I have to tell him. So he, I like let him sleep next to me with the bassinet because he still wakes up in the middle of the night. So it doesn't make sense for me to put him in another, in another room and then I gotta walk and go get him and make him a body. That's too much. So he sleeps next to me in the bassinet. Luckily, I was still awake. It was like three in the morning. I just had my head turned the other way and I turn around because I hear him talking. I turn around. And this child is standing up on his feet inside of the bassinet. So that's another thing that he's doing right now. He is grabbing onto things and pushing himself up and standing on his feet. So this guy is going to be uh, walking pretty soon. He does it often, he does it all the time. That's just his thing. He likes to stand up on his feet. He doesn't want to be on his butt all day. I get it, you got stuff to do, right? What you gotta do? <laughs> What you gotta do? <laughs> so, that's another thing. I would say that he doesn't really like guys holding him because when guys hold him, he cries. And then, but when girls hold him, he like likes to flirt with them and look at them and laugh at them and play with them. I would say that he is like a sour patch. Like first they're sour, then they're sweet. That's this man right here. He look look at him. He looks so precious. He looks like he's just so loving and so he's mean. He's so mean. Like he gets fussy. He gets angry. I'm seeing a lot of attitude. Like he first of all, if I'm doing something that he don't want me to do, like for instance, he doesn't like getting his nose clean, but unfortunately I'm not raising a baby kid. So you're not walking around with me with your nose looking filthy. So he gets mad when I try to clean his nose and what he does is he'll start hitting me like, like stop, like stop touching me, like he's hitting. I'm, I'm trying to figure out where'd you learn this from bro? Like who taught you? Normally kids pick stuff up from what they see. So I'm just confused, like how do you know to hit? How do you know? How do you know? Another thing is he saying dad now and in dad 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 daddy mom dad dad daddy mom grandma mom grandma don't listen to them grandma say dad dad daddy she grandma dad dad 
Dad, 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 dad. Go somewhere with all that. Daddy. 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 I know all of you are saying, oh my God, he's saying daddy before mommy. Let said have that. He deserves it. He recites dada and daddy to him all day, every day. They have a dada and daddy session, class session that goes on every day. I don't do all that. Like, I don't sit with him and I don't say mom repeatedly. I don't say mama. I don't even know what I want him to call me yet because... You know, we live down south, they say mama. I'm from up north where they say mom. So yeah, I don't even know what I want him to call me yet. I don't even know. I'm just gonna let it come natural. What do you wanna call me? Hmm? Mama? Mama? Yes? Okay, you like that one? Do you like that one? <laughs> It's the cutest thing ever. It's not his first words, no. His, I don't know, let's do a little recap that his first words actually was before he was even one month, he was saying hey. And he's, he still says hey. He's been saying hey ever since you asked me since he came out the womb. That's just the thing. So, I have a pretty smart one on my hands. Um, what, you getting fussy with me? What you saying? Huh? What? What? Another thing which is so cute is that he, um, like when, if I have him in one of his toys and he's finished, like he doesn't want to play with it anymore, and I come over to him, he reaches, ah! You almost fell, or you did fall. He reaches his arms out for me to pick him up. I think that's the cutest thing ever. He kisses me back when I'm kissing on him, and he holds my face like, like, he knows what he's doing. It's just the funniest thing ever. It's like, boy, how you know? How you be knowing? Huh? Am I telling them too much? You ready for the video to be over? Huh? Are you ready? Are you ready? Huh? Are you ready? But yeah, another thing is he doesn't like when other people have our attention. So when I'm on the, when I'm on FaceTime like my mom or my best friend and I'm talking to them for too long, he starts to scream. And scream because he's trying to get my attention, not because something's wrong. Yes, he just does that. He's like, no, talk to me. So we have to um, include him in the conversation in order for him not to scream. Yeah. Oh, and he's a flirt. What? Why? He is a flirt. He looks at you with his eyes and he's just like, like he's just like, he has the whole look. Like he's gonna be a heartbreaker. It's, it's kind of sickening. You're tapping into your powers already. Are you done? You over it? Are you sleepy? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's the matter with the honey? What's the matter with my honey? What's wrong with the honey? What's wrong with him? Is he okay? Hmm? Is he sleepy? Well, as for his eating, he's still, um, he doesn't drink as many bottles as he, I feel like, used to now that he's in a six-month range because we feed him, you know, different foods and stuff. So, like, he eats, like, mashed potatoes and, like, sweet potatoes and applesauce and, like, a bunch of different, um, like, mixes of purees, uh, that he eats throughout the day so that he doesn't have to constantly keep, um, drinking the milk and that he can try different foods and he can get used to like eating foods to get him full instead of just the milk so he doesn't really drink that many bottles um he still wakes up around the same time like that five o'clock time to eat a bottle so i'm doing that since birth um and what else but what i can say is that he wakes up really late now so this man probably won't get up until 10 or 11 o'clock. And I'm like, I gotta wake him up like homeboy, it's time to get up. You gotta get up. 
what you tired for. He still hates to get his hair done. He doesn't like it. I have to give him something to chew on or something to occupy him so that I can do his hair because he hates getting his hair done. It's just not his thing. Um, I would say that he takes a lot of naps now. So the weirdest thing happened the other day um, where he was on my laptop. And it's crazy because he always tries to get on my laptop and I never allow him. Like, I always redirect him because he'll crawl towards it and try to, like, just get my laptop. You know, like, normally when it's kids, like, they're on your laptop and they just start banging. And that's what I didn't want him to do. And he never, you know, touched it because I always just redirected him every time he tried to crawl over to me and um, touch my laptop. But what happened was I ended up walking away while my laptop was on the ground and I went to the bathroom and said it was sitting on the bed and I come back and said is recording him while he's on my laptop but instead of banging on it like a normal kid would do he was literally like on the laptop like scroll you know like he knew the touch how to touch the mouse gently you know to scroll down the screen and he was scrolling down the screen and focused you know on the um on the screen and i was like we fell out to the floor we could not stop laughing because it was like how does he know like it's so crazy like how smart they are like your your babies are and how much they could pick up you know so i'm like you know did he learn this from watching us or is this like a grown man in a baby's body i don't know as you guys can see bless fell asleep i'm not gonna keep talking i feel like it's gonna wake him up and i hate to interrupt him during his sleep so if you guys have any questions, if I didn't cover something, definitely comment below. And thanks again for watching. If you don't follow Baby Bless on Instagram, make sure you do so. That's at the real bless on Instagram. It's also going to be in the description box. And if you don't follow me, that's at nidira.ile. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in his seven-month update.